Life is about shedding the darkness and embracing the light of knowledge. So let's get together and awaken our minds. Friends, welcome. Hello uh, to my show of uh, Awakening the Mind videos. Uh, my name is Dr. Akash Ahuja and I'm a psychiatrist here in Los Angeles, California. Uh, I did my residency from uh, Minneapolis, Hennepin Regions Program in the state of Minnesota in the United States and I did my medical college from Maulana Azad Medical College uh, in New Delhi, India. Today we are going to talk about the topic which covers three different kind of people. Three, kind, three different kind of people who we admire a lot. We talk good about them, we talk bad about them, but we just cannot live without talking about them. All the magazines, all the TV shows, 90% of the programs cover these three folks. Um, we are going to talk about actors, we are going to talk about sportsmen, and we are going to talk about politicians. All these people get a lot of media attention, and if you read the newspaper, Basically, 90% uh, of the newspaper is filled with something related to these three people. So let's talk about actors a little. Now, as a psychiatrist, why am I talking about actors? Well, first of all, I love actors. Um, I live here in Los Angeles. Uh, I live, I mean, this is Hollywood. And uh, I spent some time in, uh, in Mumbai. So I know people there in Mumbai who are in acting business and I know a lot of people here who are in acting business. So I talk to them a lot. I have uh, known people who have consulted me on various issues which, have, uh, which basically pertain to stress, which uh, deal with, uh, which is because that they are actors. And uh, I have also talked to people who are not exactly actors, but they are in uh, this, this business. They are directors, producers, editors, uh, camera people, light people, uh, stuntmen, so many different people who are in this particular business and they talk about uh, their stresses um, and their life. So what kind of stresses do you think that actors face? Let's cover some of them. So first thing is that actors deal a lot of uh, critique from the press and from the people. Uh, people love them but if they don't like something people don't shy they will speak their mind and they will say uh, what they feel about them uh, actors can have very odd schedules we all think that everything is rosy for the actors and you know everybody is getting giving them so much attention but sometimes you forget that these people work in very harsh conditions in different uh, places and uh, different climatic uh, situations and sometimes they have to put in like 18 20 hours of work their sleep is disrupted. Sometimes we are watching a TV show and we have no idea whether it was shot at 12 o'clock in the afternoon or basically 4 o'clock in the morning. But, uh, but uh, again, knowing these people, I know that uh, they lead a very stressful life. Uh, many actors have their own stalkers, uh, the people who follow them relentlessly and, uh, and make their life uh, miserable. Uh, they do face or at least perceive the threat to self and the family and that's, that's a very big stressor for the actors. Uh, then the actors, especially the female actors and the models have a stress of keeping themselves in shape like mission size zero and they, they try to always remain in the best possible shape uh, which has led actually to many um, actresses um, uh, getting uh, eating disorders like anorexia, nervosa and uh, bulimia uh, which we can talk about uh, in some other video and uh, they have this stress about their movie whether it's going to be a hit or not and based upon that whether they will be getting a next project or not um, they hear rumors about them which might not be true which can be extremely disruptive to their family life uh, rumors about their affairs and other things they have absolutely no privacy and even if they are depressed um, they, they face a much bigger ta uh, taboo of seeking a help from a psychiatrist or a professional person. The actors should keep in mind that even if they can fake a smile and they are doing okay but the eyes don't lie and when they act if they are depressed it will show up and um, for them what, what, can, what can the actors do then? 
So basically, if the actors are stressed, they should try to relax and do some yoga, meditation. They should try to take a break, spend time with family and friends who they enjoy to spend time with, and definitely seek professional help. Um, that will help them to elongate their career in a nicer way and uh, will also uh, make sure that they can perform the best which would be great for them and also for the people who love them and who watch them performing on TV or, on, uh, or in films. Friends, now let's talk about politicians. Well, so what should we talk about politicians? Well, I guess uh, we can all agree on one thing that good politicians is absolutely important for the progress of the country. And uh, if the politicians are not doing very well in terms of their health, in terms of their mental health, then they might not do a very good job. Uh, some people will say that, uh, what kind of stress can politicians face? Well, th that's not actually accurate. Uh, politicians are also under a lot of stress and uh, let's see what, what can cause um, stress in them. Well, in general, sometimes they have to deal with uh, the public, the public's perceptive um, that people might not like them. At least half of the people from the opposing party or the people who support the opposing party don't like them. So it depends whether they are in power or whether they are in opposition uh, and depending upon which people support them and which people don't support them. Then politics actually in itself is a pretty negative uh, stress. Campaigns. The election campaigns can be extremely stressful. There is a lot of negative publicity, negative ads going on. People are standing out there and and uh, screaming at the top of their lungs, saying good things or bad things about them. Again, depending upon which party they support. Um, there are false accusations uh, on the politicians which they have to deal with. Then there is a sleep deprivation. Uh, in campaigns, people travel from one city to another, one town to another, or one village to another uh, constantly in order to get the maximum leverage from the people. But that basically disrupts their social life, they are away from their family, they are away from their children, and it can be extremely stressful, which, which sometimes we don't realize. Um, they do have fear of self and family. There are many cases which we all know where the politicians have given their lives because they were killed um, by, by the terrorists or some other organizations. And, uh, and a lot of politicians do feel that threat uh, for themselves and for their uh, immediate or extended families. So what can be done? I strongly believe that, again, a healthy mind of a politician is extremely important for the progress of their party and for the progress of the country. So politi politicians actually have the responsibility to take care of their health. I mean, if they are promising to take care of the country, they should at least take care of their health first also. Um, they should try to relax, use yoga, meditation, other techniques, and should not uh, go away from seeking psychiatric uh, help. Also, it's the responsibility of the public now not to make it a taboo if they do seek help of a professional. Because these stress and anxiety is not going away, it's there, it's common in everybody and people should realize that, accept it and then get some treatment. If they do that, I sincerely believe that they will do a much better job uh, in what they intend to do. So friends, let's talk about our sportsmen. Uh, sports is such a euphoria, sports brings such pride to the country. I cannot even imagine how, as countrymen, uh, we all feel when Abhinav Vindra win uh, a gold medal, when Sushil Kumar wins a medal, when it's Saina versus China and Saina wins a medal, when Tendulkar along with Dhoni and the whole cricket team uh, lifts the World Cup, when hockey team does fantastic and wins so many Olympic medals, when Leander Pace wins a medal, and when other people, Sushil Kumar and other people do great. Uh, and I'm missing so many names here, uh, Vishwanathan Anand of course, uh, and when Sehwag bashes uh, the other teams. It, it brings glory to a nation of 1.2 billion people. And the sad part is when they don't do very well, then we all start blaming them. We might think that, well, these people are now not doing well because they are not practicing, uh, they might not be uh, doing what they're supposed to do and they are uh, basically putting the country down. which some 
sometimes which we don't realize is uh, what we don't realize is that sportsmen actually go through a lot of stress and anxiety and uh, and it's very important to at least um, talk about that and only then we can actually treat that and uh, make sure that they continue to bring glory to the country even more so let's talk about a little bit about uh, the sports uh, psychology and what we can do about it so the research has shown that sportsmen perform best uh, at a certain level of optimal stress level uh, an optimal level of anxiety at that they perform the best the problem is that when that anxiety or stress goes up due to one reason or the other then they don't perform at their maximum best they can be the best prepared people in the world but if their anxiety is not managed at that time they will definitely not do that well um, it can be due to their physical demands I mean they work so hard they exercise very hard it can be due to psychological demands the, the want for the for the medal and uh, and other psychological needs environmental demands sometimes they have to perform in a venue where the temperatures are different uh, the altitude is different it's not um, that they are always performing at home conditions uh, and then again uh, the media puts them uh, puts a lot of pressure on them and uh, they are always expected to perform at the level best now, all these things if not managed very well uh, can lead to a down downward performance in an athlete so how to deal with it uh, I've uh, basically mentioned this slide as mission gold uh, how to win more medals perhaps in the, in the Olympics so I think uh, this has to be taken care of from a very ground grassroots level uh, that um, a sports psychiatrist a sports psychologist should be provided um, usually we see that it happens that when uh, when an athlete does very well only then they get a lot of support uh, and a lot of sponsorships but these things should be taken care of at a very ground level as I said uh, starting from the school where they should be provided with uh, with a mental health coach a sports psychiatrist uh, to help them to accomplish their goals um, a sports psychiatrist can help them uh, to gain or to master mental toughness which is uh, uh, help to perform at high level consistently they can help them uh, with self-efficacy that is a belief that I can perform this um, they can help them to deal with the burnout factor from injuries and excessive pressure uh, the sports psychiatrist can help uh, not only the players but also the coaches which is extremely important and sometimes overlooked upon um, then the sports psychiatrist can work on team dynamics which is extremely important in the sports like uh, like hockey cricket uh, volleyball basketball uh, soccer and uh, relay racing and uh, they can also uh, teach them techniques like imagery and self-talk uh, which are extremely important for an athlete friends we can definitely get more medals uh, in the coming Olympics and then the Olympics after that but we just have to uh, make sure that if we are aiming for a gold medal we should treat our athletes as a gold also um, Saina actually uh, said recently in an interview that again uh, we, that the athletes get all the sponsorships and money and finances only after they get a medal uh, this process actually should start uh, when they are very young 10 or 12 and only then if we provide them with all these facilities including the sports psychiatrist and mental health coach we can definitely expect to achieve many more medals in the Olympics and we can uh, we can do much better Friends, we talked about uh, politicians, we talked about actors, and we talked about sportsmen today. All three are like the national treasures, and all three, if uh, all three, bring so much happiness and joy uh, to us in their own different way. One person uh, is in entertainment, one person, of course, is in politics, and one person is is a sportsman. Again, if these three, uh, the, these three uh, sects of people, uh, take care of their health, uh, physically and mentally then they can provide us uh, in what they are best at providing and, uh, and we would love to see that, won't we? Thanks for watching this video.